and new crash test ratings for midsize SUVs are out this morning. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety looked at nine 2014 models. Only three of them got good grades. And Jeff Pegues is at the testing ground in Ruckersville, Virginia with the results. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. This is where the IIHS tests the cars and SUVs that we all drive. Every year they conduct about 80 tests here. That means they're crashing hundreds of vehicles. And this time around, they wanted to test out midsize SUVs like this one to see how they held up in a crash at 40 miles per hour. By virtue of their size and weight, midsize SUVs are some of the safest vehicles on the road. But the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's small overlap front crash test shows that not all are created equal. The test replicates when 25% of a vehicle's front end strikes a tree or utility pole at 40 miles per hour. These are the SUVs used in the crash test. Right. These are the very same midsize SUVs that we just subjected to this small overlap crash test. So David Zuby is the executive vice president and chief research officer for IIHS. He says the SUVs that scored the highest created what amounts to a protective shell around the driver. You can see there's a lot more space around where the driver would be sitting, um, and that indicates that um, the, the airbags and the seatbelts have a chance of doing their job to protect driver from injury. The Chevrolet Equinox and GMC Terrain earned top safety pick plus, along with the Toyota Highlander. All three vehicles held up well after striking the barrier, but they also have forward collision warning systems and automatic braking. If someone was sitting in this seat, they could walk out of this crash. Exactly. There's a good chance that a reasonably, relatively healthy person could, could walk away from this crash without any serious injuries. The Kia Sorento and Mazda CX-9 received poor ratings. And the worst performer in the group was the Honda Pilot. What did it do wrong? The main problem with the Honda Pilot is that its structure collapsed. Um, we had the brake pedal, for instance, uh, moving inboard some 16 inches toward the driver, and the steering column moved to the right, so the dummy glanced off the airbag and didn't get full protection. Honda responded to its SUV's crash test with an email. Every new generation of the Honda Pilot has helped lead the light truck segment with a wide range of standard safety and driver assistive technologies. And we are committed that it will continue to do so in the future. We reached out to Kia. They still have not gotten back to us. We called Mazda. They tell us that their CX-9 was manufactured before this new test. They say in previous tests it's done quite well. Behind me, this is the Honda Pilot. This was the worst performer, and you can see how the structure around the driver collapsed. According to the IIHS, if this happens and you're in this accident, the chances of you walking away without some sort of injury are slim. Gail? All right, Jeff Begays. I had a pilot back in the day. I love that car, but you got to be doing the hula over there, Charlie, because the other day, remember when the Toyota people were here, Charlie said, where does one get one of those Highlanders? <laughs> it, <laughs> and I it did. did so well. I said that because a friend of mine had one, and, and he likes it a lot. But this reminds you one more time of, of, of how you can lose your life. That's right. Yeah. You know, to see the That's force right. of an impact at 40 miles an hour. That's right. Yeah. I'm glad Which doesn't they do seem that exactly fast. Right. It doesn't yeah. seem I'm that fast. I'm glad they do the test. I agree. Information you can use this morning. Thank you, Jeff.